Hey y'all, Sailor Luhu here, and we are back again with Heavy Rain. So, last episode, things kind of started finally kicking off a bit. We went to the park as Ethan with Sean, and yeah, spent some good time there together. We swung, we seesawed, we spun around, we got treats, which worked actually. You know, Sean liked treats and all sorts of stuff, but yeah, we, we had fun until we got to the merry-go-round. When Sean got on the merry-go-round, Ethan had a blackout episode and woke up at the same street that he was at before with an origami figure in his hand, and we couldn't find Sean anywhere. You know, Sean was just... He was gone. His backpack was still at the park. He wasn't at the house. He was he was gone. And so, I'm assuming origami killer probably got him. All that, it still raises the question why... Ethan keeps on getting the origami in his hands. All that. We did also have that threatening letter and all that, but initially I thought, you know, he might have been sending those things to himself, but then we got to Norman's little arc over here. And he uh, basically was just waiting at the police station, meet the chief, met the chief, went and sat in on a press meeting about what was going on. Nothing new really presented there, evidence-wise or anything. It was just kind of, you know, telling us that the mayor might, according to the press, the mayor might, you know, be wanting us to hush this up a bit. All that. Police chief denies it. Press suggested, though, so who knows. Um... After that, we donated to a watch fund and then came here to go over our evidence in our new office, as well as, you know, we, we had a kind of standoff with Blake, I guess. He was just like, uh, I don't have time for you kind of thing. But we go to the office, we review our evidence and data and all that, and we find out that the origami killer has been active for three years. And it's only been two years since Ethan's son's death, and, uh... Yeah, it's still a possibility, I guess, but I think it's much less of one, given everything going on. I still find it weird what's going on with his origami stuff, but again, we'll have to just work with that. Um, and we might know what the car is that the killer drives, but I don't know cars, so that's not going to do crap for me, unless the characters point it out themselves. And we're getting... Trembly? He had that in the car, too. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. What is going on with you, bud? Come on. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Okay, you can walk. It's alright. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Is it drug addict stuff? Take trip out. Exit. I don't need drugs. Question is, what the hell is trip out? Everything all right, sir? Bathroom. I need. Okay, yeah. It shows how concerned you are. No one. No one must see. Yeah, I mean, kind of hard. Oh dear. Okay. Keep it together, man. We're getting there. Up. Uh, oh, God. X. What's happening? Up. <laughs> We're good. We're good. No one's in here. Let's get some water. Okay. <laughs> it's a little weird transition. Is that Ethan? No, that's Ethan. I was looking at the coat, but that was the guy that was interrogation, wasn't it? He also had a brown coat. Please tell me you've called your wife. <laughs> Ex-wife, sorry. I keep on saying wife. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back... 
Sean had disappeared. Dude, you're lying. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Damn if I know. I, there was a clock, but I wasn't paying attention. 5.30, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? Gray. He was wearing a coat. Gray. It was... Beige, maybe? It was gray. None coat. of those worked. And a pair of pants. They were... Brown? Brown pants. It was, he was wearing gray, and I thought his pants were red. How Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I can't remember. It's a little walk. <laughs> a little walk, I guess. I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped, and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Searched? I searched on my own. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? No? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Like what? Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? Yes and yes. Yes. Uh, my wife and I have been separated for the last six months. Okay, so we're not divorced, just separated. John would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right, that's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do, do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. Fingers crossed, but I mean... But what if it is the origami killer? Should I tell you about the origami I had? four days to find him alive. Oh, go fuck yourself, sir. Only four? Did they find something? Why didn't you come with me? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? No, but who knows? It, it, it's still too early to say, but it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? That was hard as it was. Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Okay, stepping out. <laughs> Over the line, lady. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say. Oh, but you said it. And you don't think he does? I was kind of hoping they'd hug or something, but I guess, you know, separation. And she's kind of blaming him. And unfold the poop, it's slowly with the right stick. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tuesday, 9.2 p.m., 1.39 inches. Whatever. It's talking about the rain, right? Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I was outside. <laughs> Good evening to you, sir. What am I doing? Can I help you, sir? I think you can. Well, I hope so. 
My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. Oh, you were one of the fathers. I have nothing more to say. Okay. Sympathize. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Okay, there's a kid, an arcade missing though. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. Oh, he's ten. That's older than I thought he was. We find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, you would please to move along, sir. Really? Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Do you just buy inhalers like that? Just leaving the potato chips on the floor. Good evening, sir. You look awfully shady. Are you looking for something in particular? Your cash, I'm guessing. Give me what you got in the register. Mm -hmm. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Okay. Shit, are you deaf or what? Come on. Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? I got you, man. No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. Come on. What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't Quietly. get it, do you? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now. You shall not be robbing my register. Ooh. That money is mine. <laughs> that was close. You now to leave before it is too late. Okay, chill, chill, chill. Christ, goddamn idiot! Open the register. Don't make me fucking kill you, dude. It's like chill for five yes, more seconds. That I cannot do. Just don't turn around. I'll waste you, man. I ain't joking. Quit. Fuck. Oh shit. Drop it. Now. Was it quick enough? Don't move. Hands up. I wasn't thinking about my thoughts. Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot. Okay. Okay. We good, man. We good. <sighs> Shipping quicker. Reason. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Okay. What's your name, son? Uh, my name's Scott. <laughs> what about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. That was stupid of you. Okay. Just calm down. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Okay. We're good, right? Effective? Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah. A little girl. I got a little girl. Would she be proud of this? Her name is Jessica. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself. What would happen to her if things go wrong? Okay. We can help you, man. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Just gotta drop the gun, man. Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? We good, bud? Yeah? All right. All right. Woo! Did it! Peaceful! <laughs> Have a good day. Take care of your daughter. Don't be a dick. A thousand thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. Well, at least I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, 
I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? By all means. I wonder if the shoe is important. Or origami. Please, oh. take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza. But maybe it will help you find the other little boy. So we have a dog and a lizard. Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. Well, at least we did some good today, right? <laughs> The shoe has to be a clue in of itself. Okay, you don't have the earrings. You're not Grace. Wednesday, 2.44 a.m., 1.56... 564 inches, whatever. Basically one and a half inches. <gasps> yep, definitely not Grace. Are you one of the moms? Though I don't see any pictures of kids. Okay, turn off weird static TV. And up we get. Just like Ethan. Always has to be the underwear, huh? Can I... What, what am I doing here? Just sitting in them? I can sit in chairs! Wouldn't you know it? Okay, what's down? Oh! I have a step. Okay, I got some papers. See what the news is today, or the magazine. Uh. What's over here? Could they have hid? Yes, yes, it's a very pretty city. Let's see what else we got. We got a laptop. Can't do anything with it though. Sink, kitchen, fridge. Sandwiches. No, nothing. Not hungry. And up, see we go. God, that must be a freaking nightmare. <laughs> okay, now there are stairs. Is that was just like, can you imagine having to crawl up and down, up and down? Can I do anything with that? Is that camera or music thing? Speakers. <laughs> well, I guess we're. Are we putting you to bed? Like, what are we doing here? Is 
Sinister sounds. Go investigate. Should probably turn that light off while we're in there too. Or maybe it would be a good idea to have the lights on. Keep everything nice and bright so if anything happens, we can see it. Was it you? Wait, what is this? Is this water? It is water. Okay, I was getting like worried it was maybe something. I was like, wait, what is it was for? <laughs> Boop. Okay, door's fine. What did I hear? Roll. Had to have been from the kitchen, right? Okay, I'm definitely missing something. Question is what? <laughs> oh, was it this? Okay, well, we successfully made tea. It feels like there's somebody in here, but. <laughs> Can't be this hard to figure out, right? It's a pretty open place. It's not like there's a million places for people to hide. Wait, was that something? Am I just seeing light reflections? I think I'm just seeing light reflections. Come on, walk around for me. Can I eat the biscuits? No, I cannot. Maybe that door. Does the door go somewhere? Or is the fridge scary? <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't really giving us a good angle on the fridge before, was it? Very problematic. What's going on in here? Oh, Joy! So much for my lights! There's someone here. Yes, there is! There's someone in the apartment. Oh, I like hope it's ding thoughts. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Okay, well, let's go. Open it, open it. Oh, hey, hey. No. No. I refuse. No. Uh, ah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to do controlling stuff. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. Nope. We fight. Urgh. Yo, triangle! Oh no! Okay. <laughs> this is why I say the shapes. Ah, right, left. Uh, right. Up. Circle. Uh, left. Hell yeah! There's three? You! Circle. X. Square. Up. Fire is ear off. 
Keep going, girl. Throw something at him. Yeah. Uh, X, square, triangle, circle. Yeah. Circle. Fuck you. Up. Hell yeah. X, 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 X. Up, TV. Up. Oh no, I didn't even have an option. Rude. Why are they after us to kill? Yeah, suck it. Up. Uh, Stab them all. XXXX. X, X, X. <laughs> We're good. Up. Oh great, you've trapped yourself in a bathroom. Fantastic, Chica. I mean, we could try breaking the window. Oh, what? How many of you are there? Oh no. Oh. It was a dream. Well, I guess that explains all the randomly appearing people. <laughs> well, that felt pretty unimportant, but <laughs> what you gonna do? Golly, those were hard though. I have unlocked a new bonus. I don't think I got one of those last time, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I got one when I was transitioning between Shelby and Norman. Did I not do enough as Norman? Oh, joy. Got reporters all over our front porch. Can't cops do something with them? What's this? Oh, the creepy note again? Or is this a new one? When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Is it a puzzle? It has to be a clue. Oh! We got a locker ticket. Well, let's go figure out what this is about. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Okay, let's see. It is currently just a little past 30. We're good. Let's get the hell out of here. I have completely Lord, forgot about our thoughts. My blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I've never done origami in my life. Okay, well, that's good. That's even more points to you. Killer? I'm the origami killer. No. I black out, and then the murdering starts. I know it's me. But it's supposedly been going on for much longer. This doesn't make any sense. It couldn't have been me. I couldn't ever have done that. Exactly. But we are exhausted. I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep a wink all night. Uh, police? That letter might be linked to Sean's disappearance. I need to show it to the police. Okay. Sean. There's no way back for me. If I'd done anything to hurt Sean. But we are determined. <laughs> I'd give anything to know where Sean is now. Okay, eight outs. I couldn't have hurt him. I love him. I love him with all my heart. But what in God's name did I do when he was on the carousel? Yeah, that is the biggest question. What did I do with Sean? I, I must have done something. But I just can't remember. And let's buzz. Goddamn reporters. They've been camped outside my house all day. All of our thoughts are out of the way. Let's try to do a sneak into the car. You guys aren't seeing anything. Nothing to see here. Just some random guy from next door. Driving away. Alright. And away we go. 
Hopefully report some stuff to the police. Hmm. That is odd, but I just realized the time. So we're going to have to end the episode here for today. Um, alright, so thoughts and opinions. Oh, I have no idea what the hell the thing is with the new chick. It seemed really weird to do that only for it to be just like a random dream sequence. Like, what's the significance there? No, I'm sure we'll find out more as we go on. Oh, but it, it was just kind of weird in the moment. Um, also, a successful win today for Mr. Shelby, Detective Shelby. <laughs> All that managed to win the day with compassion. Hell yeah. Except I don't feel like we've done that in a while. <laughs> uh, I, I really do prefer taking the pacifist route most of the time. Oh, I don't like doing the murders if I have a chance to be the good guy. Uh, I don't know. It's just, you want to do good. You don't want to see people, you know, in pain and suffering and all that. Like, especially with the parents. Oh, like, yeah, Lord and whore and all that crap. And, um, oh goodness, what was his name? The shop owner. All that. Yeah, they, he didn't really have anything bad going for him. I mean, he was just kind of being a dick, like, not my problem. But she was doing that, too. But they both lost kids. They're both just... They're kind of in the same spot as Ethan, almost. And all that. It's just, you know, sad situations for him. You don't want to be jerks to them. They've lost their kids. It's horrible. And all that. But the fact that Ethan is thinking the same thoughts, like, maybe I'm the killer, is making me think for certain sure now that, yeah, he is definitely not the killer. <laughs> And so that's too obvious, too big of a red hair and all that. That's the kind of crap they throw at you all the time until they throw it at you at the very beginning. And it's like, oh, it's clearly a red herring. But then the red herring was a red herring to make you think that it was not the red herring. And then it's like, that's what it actually is in the end. Which I honestly can't think of any examples of that happening recently. But I mean, it happens, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, that is the things. I don't know, I seem- I like most of our characters. I honestly think that Norman's a bit on the boring side and stuff, but I do like Shelby and Ethan, and we'll see how things are with this new chick. Again, we we don't really have much to go off of, but she was kicking ass. So that's good. Her and Shelby, they're both ass kickers. Good to know. Um, but, yeah, that's just it for today. Next time, we're going to either take this crap to the police or it looks like we're in a train station so we might just be going to the train station ourselves but he said we were going to the police i don't know what the situation is we'll see in the next episode but until then like and subscribe if you want to and thank you for watching <laughs>